and welcome to a very special edition of Death Ray Cat on the YouTube. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to address an issue or a question that you guys have been asking me about quite a lot, and it's how to get the rockabilly tone, or how do I get my sound, what is my rig, how do I get that, and I'm going to share that with you today. And as a little disclaimer, I must add that this is just what I do. So there's probably a lot of different ways to achieve a similar thing, but this is what I do. I've been playing this kind of thing for about 15 years. You can check out my bands, see the sort of thing we do. So for this kind of music that we're going to be looking at, rock and roll, rockabilly, rhythm and blues, whatever you want to call it, or sometimes hillbilly, a bit of punk rock, surf. So I only really use three pedals. I do have some extra stuff, but that's just for fun really. We're gonna look at delay, that's the big one, reverb and a bit of tremolo as well. If I had to choose one of them, it would have to be delay. So that's what we're gonna look at first. And something else I want to add is you don't need to spend a lot of money to get this kind of tone. So a lot of people will spend tons of money on amps, guitars, pedals. You don't need to. As for guitar, you can pretty much use anything. I like to use the Gretsch. Pedals, you don't need to spend loads of money. You can if you want. You can pick up something second hand. You can pick up something cheap. And what you need it to do isn't that fancy, so I'll show you that right now. So what you want to be trying to do is get the repeat rate really fast, but the intensity low, so it doesn't keep repeating it. You want one quick slap back, basically. One quick slap back's cool. You can add a couple more, that also sounds good. The more you add, the more kind of crazy it gets. Depends what sound you're going for. If you leave it too long and too slow, it goes a bit. Which is cool, but it's not necessarily rockabilly. So depending on what you're doing, it depends what your band situation is as well. If you're playing solo, you might want some more repeats going on. If you just want to cut through a band, you might just want a quick slap back, nothing too crazy. Um, so that's what I'd go for. There's loads of extra settings on here as well. So what I use that I've been using for years is the Bass RE20, I think it is. And it's modeled on a Roland Space Echo and basically it's emulating the style of tape playback that you get from a real tape. So this delay sound can be heard in a lot of early rock and roll stuff and what they would do sometimes is in post-production they'd add a slap to the entire track but guitarists have started to use this on their pedal board such as Brian Setzer, he's a big guy who uses them um, he would use the Space Echo and this pedal is modelled on that it's got loads of extra features, so because it's based on this space echo, you can choose how many heads you've got and all this kind of stuff, and it's got a little preamp in there as well. But the main thing is that slapback that you're after. That dial there just adjusts how many tape heads there are.
and then it does have a reverb on there as well so we can try that out turn the slap back off and listen to the reverb of that unit there by itself I prefer to use a reverb on the amp. There's also a preamp on there as well, which will affect the sound. So the more that's up, the more drive it gets. That's pretty much that. It's fun to mess around with those extra dials and stuff, but to be honest, all you need is a really quick slap. I've been using this one for about 15 years and it's still working. There's something solid about these boss pedals. I'm just going to show you that you can achieve a similar effect on these other pedals too. So we'll look at this guy here. Time, space, echo, delay. This was given to me by a friend, Jamie. Um, you can get this from a well-known internet shopping site. I don't work for them. By the way, I don't work for any of these guys. I've bought them all with my own money. So there's no kind of bias here. Most of these pedals have a similar layout to them, so you can have a time and that controls the space between the repeats. Uh, how many repeats you've got on there if you want it to keep going for ages. And a mix so you can change the volume of the repeats, but they all do similar things. Next up we're going to try this guy, Wasabi. This has got some added drive on there as well so you can play around with that. I also used to have a Dan Electro reel to reel echo, I think it was called. That was really good, but that broke, it didn't last forever. So that is in a bin somewhere, I think. So delay, if I had to choose one of these effects to go with the sound, I'd go with the delay. Next up is reverb. It's always nice to have some reverb. Even if you just got a little bit, it kind of adds some space to the sound. It can give it a nice atmosphere. Um, even if you just use a little bit, it's great. A lot of amps have them built in. The Fender amps sound great with their inbuilt 
reverb that's what i use a lot of the time if i'm going for a more dick dale kind of surf sound i'll go for the fender reverb tank again this isn't something you have to get that's like that's me being a nerd and sort of getting what dick dale used um you can get some pedals that create a similar sound there's a brand called surfy bear that are emulating this thing it's also something can be achieved with that re20 pedal there's a little reverb on there it doesn't sound quite as good as a real reverb but it's there if you don't have any other options and then last of all my third pedal of choice has got to be the tremolo so occasionally if you want to play like a slower song or just add a different texture tremolo is cool i've done a video about this you can check that out um again you don't need to spend loads of money on this i've been using the bass tremolo pedal that's been great i've also got the walrus audio that's got loads of extra stuff on there to be honest i don't need half of that stuff on there you can get a really good cheap tremolo pedal for not too much um just try out a cheap one if you've not got one uh yeah let's see what that does Tremolo is essentially taking the volume of your signal and taking it up and down. It's giving it a pulsating kind of a feel. Um, if you listen to some Bo Diddley, you can hear that effect on some of his tunes. It works really nicely for slower stuff or some nice kind of cowboy licks. Okay, so that's my quick rundown of my gear. Uh, I hope that answers some questions. If you want me to look at anything in more detail, I might do that. Just let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon if you want to check out some lessons. There's some links for the bands I play in if you want to check that out as well. Nice one. See you later.